everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. I have a super fun post for you guys today. I am teaming up with Wendy Cranford from Love and Stampin', and we are doing this um, post together. We're doing uh, this little craft together, and I have these little cute coffee cups, and they have little lids. I'm not sure where my lid for this one is, but they have cute little lids, and I wanted to show you how I am decorating a bunch of them. We each took five, and we're going to decorate them and then you can go right up to my coordinating blog post by just clicking right up here takes you on over to that blog post and you're gonna see photos of all of these cute little cups so let me show you a couple that I've made look at this one this one has stars I'm gonna zoom in because then I'm gonna make a cup with you actually on video here so this one has stars on it and it's super cute it has some Baker's twine and some glitter paper and super cute these you could put tons of different things in them you could put little treats in them I took my blendability marker and I colored the top of this at, to match the colors I used which was Bermuda Bay and then black then I have this cute one so this has some twine wrapped around it and I am going to insert some footage okay guys the first one we're gonna start with is some of this thick twine and immediately when Wendy and I decided to do this she had bought in the cups and had said hey you know would you want to do this with me and I was like uh, yeah they are adorable so immediately when we decided to do this I had this idea so I'm taking some of the thick Baker's twine and I have my hot glue gun and I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work we're just gonna go with it and see I'm gonna wrap this whole cup with the Baker's twine I'm gonna speed it up because it's obviously gonna take a while or I don't know I might edit it out and then just come back when it's done but let's see how this works so. Okay guys, so you can see I've done a little bit and it's pretty easy. It's working okay. The, you gotta be kind of, you gotta work fast because the hot glue um, cools down. But I was thinking as I was doing this, what if I added another color? Like now what if I did the pink for a little bit? Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so this is how far I've gotten and I wanted to stop and share some tips with you guys okay so first I don't know if you can see but there's like all these glue hot glue like I don't know what they are you know like the stringy things that start happening so several times I've had to just stop and start cleaning those up and they pull right off like it's not a big deal it doesn't do anything to the twine so I've just been pulling those off, stopping every, um, you know, little bit and then pulling them off. So then the other thing that I found is if you get a big clump of glue, like right here, you can kind of see there's like this big clump of glue. All you have to do is run your hot glue gun, the metal part over that glue and like right over that twine and it kind of like will smooth it out so then it's not so noticeable so then the same thing kind of as I'm going I just have two spots that I'm doing glue on and so you can see there's glue right there but it's dried and so all I've been doing is just taking the glue gun and then like rubbing it over that glue and it like smashes it out and then melts it again and then I can use that little same piece of glue and then I just try to wind it up as I'm going it's not that hard to wrap it you just have to make sure you keep it tight and then see this glue is dried again so let's just mush it down and then the other thing is any other places where there's like a lot of glue I think I've done it to all the different well like right there there's kind of a big chunk of glue right there so I'm just melting 
it with my the tip of the gun and then it's okay I mean it's kind of shiny but I mean I'm gonna do a lot of other things to this so you're never even gonna be able to know the most important thing is to just keep it tight when you're wrapping it to just keep going tight so I'm gonna finish up wrapping this and then I'll be back and I'll show you the next thing we're gonna do the next thing we're gonna do is take this punch it's just this flower punch and then we're gonna pick, take some designer series paper in the same color so this is coastal cabana and strawberry slush and so they match the twine okay so I've already done the blue one and it looks like this it's not quite done yet it's drying so what we want to do is take these I have just flipped them over so the paper is double-sided and so I just wanted three and then I want to be able to um, alternate them so then what I'm doing is I'm taking my I have a spritzer and it just has water in it and I'm just taking and I'm gonna spray these and really get them wet and then the next thing you're gonna do is smash them up wet you'll want them to dry if they're just a little damp you can pro they'll probably be okay to work with but it does work better when it dries because then all those wrinkles are it's a it becomes stiff again the paper becomes stiff so what you do is you just lay down the pat pattern and you kind of rotate these so the petals are kind of offset and then do your third one Make sure they're pretty lined up and then take your paper piercer and you poke right in the middle and then I just am putting a little tiny silver brad and each layer smash up again. That's why it's kind of better if it's dry because it'll start to hold its shape better. So then kind of un pull it apart, unravel it a little bit I guess. And then we're going to let these dry and when we come back they're going to be dry and I'm going to show you the very next thing to do. Okay, the very next thing we're going to do is now that our flowers are dry again, we're going to just take the hot glue. I've already done this one and we're just going to put some hot glue on the back. This one is not um, as dry, so it's not setting up like the pink one is. So I'm just putting both of these really close together, smash it up. This one turned out really good, the pink one, because it's nice and dry. This one is just still damp, and so the petals are not staying up. Okay, so then the top would go on. Let me grab a top. These I probably would not suggest drinking out of. It would just be fun to put treats in them. So we have this one. And then I have one more thing I'm going to do to this, but I wanted to show you guys a trick. So to keep these flowers uh, really stiff, what you can do is take crystal effects, like liquid glass or um, glossy accents, anything that's like that you can use. So what I do is I just put the crystal effects right onto the entire flower everywhere the flower is showing and then as this dries it's going to dry really stiff and really um, it'll be really pretty it'll be glossy and so you can just just put it all in wherever the folds are like don't fold down um, the petals to put the glossy accent just wherever it's sticking up and then that's going to give it some stability stick it down in here it's going to give it some stability to stay up as well as add some shine to it and then even like the underneath part just do a really thin coat and then what you can do is come back and do another coat later I don't want to do this one quite yet because it's not all the way dry so I'm gonna wait for that to dry all the way and then I'll do a coat of that and then we have one more thing that we're gonna do so I'll be back 
Um, in just a second, we'll do the last thing to this, and then I'm going to show you how all the other cups turned out. So, video throughout the time I was creating this part, and it's just really thick baker's twine. And then I have these really great flowers on here. And, so, and then I cut out a bee on my Cricut, and I just put it on a little stick, and then it just sticks right out of there. Super cute. And then I did this one. This one was really fun. It was super simple. I just tied a bow. Um, around the actually it's just a knot it's not even a bow but I just tied this ribbon um, around the cup and then I have hello cut out of these little thinlets and then it says sunshine on this little um, flag so hello sunshine I actually did these cups for Kayla's birthday for treats for her class um, I took cookies and then I put little treats in the cups and I just wrapped a bow around the cup that's all I did um, and that was super simple and it was really fun. So now I'm going to go ahead and take and um, do some pattern paper around the cup. So let's zoom in and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do and then I'll come back. I wanted to make a Valentine's Day cup um, just since it was around Valentine's Day and um, I'm going to put hot tamales in the cup and then I'm gonna give it to my husband for Valentine's Day. So what I've done is I've just taken um, some of this designer paper from the Stacks of Love designer paper. Oh, here it is. I was looking for my ruler. And I've just cut it down. I'm using, um, I wanted to use this pattern. That's the pattern I really wanted to use. But because these are tapered, getting pattern paper to stick on here correctly is kind of a little bit weird. And I just, I was having a hard time. So this pattern seemed a little bit better because I could take several different pieces and then piece it together. So what I did is I cut this down to three inches. So I have two pieces that are three inches by two and like just over two. Like really this cup is two and a quarter. And so I just took a sliver off that two and a quarter so that it would give me a little bit of room to play. And then there's this little, okay, really quick. I have two pieces on here and it is kind of wonky. Like see how it kind of goes up, but this last piece I'm going to be able to put on there and then you're not even going to be able to tell. So let me get this last piece on here and we'll come back and I'll do the rest. All right, guys, I am back. And um, this is what I came up with. I went ahead and I put the designer paper on like I showed you before. And then I did take a piece of tape and right where the seams were, I did put a piece of tape just because they tended to pop a little bit. Like you can see right there, even though there's a lot of adhesive on there, it's like they popped up a little bit. So then I took, my desk is a mess. There's tons of stuff everywhere. So then I took this border punch and some red glimmer paper and I just punched out a bunch of these hearts and then I used my um, glue and I just put a bunch of dots everywhere. I worked in little sections and I used my quick stick tool for this to pick up the little hearts and then place them. And I really love the way it came out with just the hearts all over the chevron paper. Um, I think the chevron paper is a really great design for these cups. It really works well. And as you're going through, you can't really tell that there's different pieces of paper pieced onto this. So I really love the way that turned out. So then the next thing I was um, thinking about doing is putting a heart on, um, on a stick to put in the top like I had done with the bee and the stars. So the first thing I did is I did this with an old stamp set and I just thought I would share with you guys some of the process I went through before I found something that I was happy with. So I used an old stamp set and then I used this punch and punched some black cardstock and then um, I had thought about putting this on um, the stick and then putting that in the cup. But I just didn't like the way that that looked together so I uh, scrapped that idea and then I went ahead and did this with the lid so here's the lid for this cup and I took uh, let me see I took these dies this is from my favorite things and it is the all my love dies and there's these heart dies I just keep my dies in a plastic envelope. I have a ton of these laying around. And so um, these are some new dies that I had gotten. And so I, di I did some of these in whisper white paper and then um, I colored it with my red um, 
writer marker. Okay, and then I did Hey Valentine, and that is from this stamp set right here, and I just colored the sentiments. I love this font, and I wish we had a whole set of sentiments that were in this cursive font. It's beautiful. So I did Hey Valentine, and then I took um, another of the hearts. I just tucked it under there, and I took this tiny stamp set right here, and I did You're Hot. So it did, it's, I was doing so good until the E and then you can see it started to get off, but it's okay. It's handmade and that's the point. And then I'm going to put hot tamales in this cup and give it to my husband for Valentine's day. So then I have the little heart on the stick and I'm going to stick that right in there. And that's from this stamp set right here. It's from this stamp. I love this stamp. I actually have this displayed in my craft room. I have it up on a shelf because I love it so much. So these are the cups that I made. Um, they turned out really cute. I'm gonna have a photo of the cups that Wendy does and that will be on my um, website, on my blog. And then there was this one, the lid is off of this one, but that's okay showed you that one and then I wanted to show you one we set out to do five together that's how many we were gonna do and you can see I only have four here because I started to do this one I had wanted to do a Valentine's one and what I was doing is I was stamping with red um, just a red stamp pad and I wasn't stamping I was masking I had the the heart mask and so I was just using a sponge dauber and then the heart mask and then I was taking clear glittery embossed powder and pouring it over there and then heat embossing it and it was going so well but my hands were getting so messy from using the sponge dauber and then holding the mask around the cup and then doing the ink and then ink would get on my hands and then it started to like get onto the cup so then I was trying to um like cover it up and I was like okay well I'll just ink it and maybe it'll look okay but then I got over here and it just became a mess and I realized it was not working so this was a huge fail it just didn't work so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these cute little cups I'll have a link where you can um, purchase the cups and the lids they weren't that expensive um, to get and then <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'll have a photo of Wendy's cups so you can see her cups and how they turned out. And then, as always, you guys, um, thanks for hanging out with me. If you are new to my channel, if you've come over from Wendy's uh, website or her channel and you're watching the video, please make sure you subscribe right up here to me. Give me a thumbs up for this kind of video, and I would be happy to um, get together with any other YouTuber. If you guys are watching me and you do videos and you want to do a collaboration, I would love to do something. I'm always looking for... Um, you know, to do something together with somebody else. So thanks guys so much for coming by and I will chat with you next week. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw out some